The Yaroslavl plant of Finnish dosage forms is our farm's modern and high-tech drug manufacturing facility. The plant, built and put into service in 2012, was designed by NNE Pharmaplan, one of the leading engineering companies in the field of pharmaceutical industry and biotechnology. The project and its implementation are based on the current requirements for Russian and European standards of drug manufacturing, GMP. 300 differently skilled specialists work at the facility. In September 2013, the plant produced its first batch of product for a foreign client. Marking the start of activities to localize foreign drug company production at the Yaroslavl plant. Soon after, production for Russian companies was launched. The plant manufacturing site includes sections for production of both sterile and non-sterile drugs, coated tablets, capsules, solutions, and lyo products in vials. Process design and personal safety approach are based on the possibility to use APIs belonging to the first and second hazard class. This means that different stages of the technological process are performed in isolated rooms using material airlocks, personal entrance and exit airlocks, emergency showers, hermetic equipment, and insulation technologies. The tablet and capsule site area is more than 1,000 square meters and includes large and small scale production lines. Its annual production capacity is up to 280 million pills or capsules. The production lines utilize equipment by leading European manufacturers GLAT, FETA, IMA. All rooms for the production of non-sterile medicines comply with D-Class standards. The necessary amount of raw materials with the status approved is transferred for drug production from the warehouse to the site material airlock where they are received, logged, unpacked and then released to production. API and auxiliary substances are weighed in separate rooms equipped with laminar cells and Mettler Toledo scales. A special room with isolator technology is utilized for weighing first and second hazard class APIs. Preparation of wet granulate for tableting and capsuling is accomplished in a 200 liter vertical mixer with built-in rotary sieve for wet compounds calibration. Fluid bed granulation is accomplished by placing the components in a 300 liter dryer granulator using a pneumatic transport system. Components are mixed inside of the dryer granulator and heated by clean hot air flow to create the liquid or boiling bed. Via the peristaltic pump and the finely pulverizing nozzle, a solution of humidifying and binding agents enters the dryer granulator chamber, facilitating the humidifying and granulation process of the components. The fluid bed unit is equipped with 150 and 300 liter bins for bulk product, granulate. Its output volume may vary from 60 to 120 kilograms. The equipment's explosion-proof design permits the use of organic solvents during the granulation process. The resulting granulate is transferred via a pneumatic transport system to a rotary sieve for calibration and sifting. The calibrated granulate is mixed with auxiliary substances in a container mixer for the creation of tablet mass. 300 and 430 liter bins are used for this mixer. Dry granulation excludes the intermediate stages of hydration and mixing and drying. The compactor is equipped with a roller's cooling system which allows processing of thermolobile substances.
tableting is accomplished using a rotary tablet press with insulator design. The press is equipped with 21 pressing stations, master check, dust removal and metal detector. Its capacity is up to 126,000 tablets an hour. Tablet cores are then transferred to the coating stage. The special apparatus, coder, has a 175-liter perforated drum and four nozzles for spraying the film-forming suspension. Product automatic loading and front unloading are possible. The coder's capacity is up to 130 kilograms of coated tablets. Production of hard gelatin capsules is accomplished using an encapsulating machine with a capacity of up to 48,000 capsules per hour. The machine is equipped with air preparation, dust removal, and metal detector systems. All the equipment has digital control panels for the operator to analyze and control the process parameters. Process parameters are automatically registered and saved then included in a final report attached to the batch production report. Equipment cleaning and washing are carried out automatically using CIP and WIP systems. The small-scale production site for tablets and capsules is designed for the production of small batches of coated tablets. The main technological equipment at the site is made in Germany. The vertical mixer granulator GLAT VG6510 is designed for wet granulation. The volume of its chamber is 25 liters. Humidifying with the solution is performed using the peristaltic pump. Granulate drying is accomplished using a fluid bed unit with bins of 6 or 12 liters. The machine has separate AHU fabric filters for product capture, which can be mechanically shaken. The equipment is also designed for fluid bed granulation. Humidifying agent solution is sprayed via the peristaltic pump and nozzle. After drying, the granulate is transferred to the rotary sieve for calibration and size ranging. It can process up to 150 kilograms per hour. The granulate is mixed with auxiliary substances in a 50-liter mixer with a rotation speed of 20 revolutions per minute. 20 kilograms of tablet mass can be produced. Tableting is performed on a Rotab-T rotary tablet press equipped with eight pressing stations. Its capacity is up to 33,600 tablets per hour. Masses for tableting are loaded into the bunker manually. Automatic weight correction of average tablet mass is carried out depending on the pressing intensity during the working process. In case of deviations, rejected tablets are collected into a separate container. Tablets are coated using a coater equipped with drums of 2, 9, and 24 liters. One or two spraying nozzles can be installed, allowing the coating of tablet core batches from 1 to 15 kilograms. The film forming suspension is fed via the peristaltic pump. During the process, the operator controls the parameters and tablet core weight gain. In-process control of semi-product is performed by the IPC laboratory at the tablet and capsule site. The laboratory has analytical control equipment allowing the monitoring of such semi-product parameters as granulate residual humidity, geometrical dimensions, friatability, and tablet core disintegration. Bulk product, coated tablets or capsules are then transferred to the primary and secondary packaging stages. The Ullman packaging line for tablets and capsules includes a cartoner and a blistering machine with a capacity of up to 300 blisters per minute. The blistering machine performs the following operations. Tablet or capsule loading into the bunker, placement of tablets into blisters, bonding of the foil to the PVC film, stamping of batch number and expiry date, blister cutting, 
and blister transportation to the cartoner. The machine's design allows for packaging using various types of forming and protective film. A Visiotech camera monitors the presence of tablets in the blisters. Blisters not complying to the standards are automatically rejected. Regular monitoring of blister integrity, appearance, printed data correctness, and quality is performed during the packaging process. The cartoner inserts the necessary number of blisters into a cardboard box along with the information leaflet. Variable data is printed on the outside. Then the packages are conveyed to a Visiotech scale for a 100% weight control check. Defective packages are automatically rejected. The machine is equipped with a package and leaflet barcode reader to ensure the packaging materials match the given drug. Regular control of package content completeness, marking correctness and quality, and correspondence of the printed matter to the approved artwork for a given drug is performed in the process of secondary packaging. The finished packages, complete with product, are placed into corrugated boxes which are closed and banded. The corrugated boxes with group labels attached to them are loaded onto pallets and transferred to a quarantine warehouse. There, the finished product is stored until the drug batch quality passport has been issued. The plant's quality control department is located in a separate building. The analytical and microbiological laboratories are designed and equipped in accordance with the requirements of Russian and international GMP standards. Quality control includes auxiliary substances and API monitoring. Next comes a semi-product check and finally inspection of the finished product before it is released to the market. The laboratory equipment is produced by leading manufacturers such as Waters, Shimadzu, Metter Toledo, Irveka, and Binder. Laboratories control the following parameters identification, quantitative analysis, solution, inclusion detection, and others, according to the specifications. All the raw materials undergo microbiological testing during input control. Microbiological testing is also performed on in-process samples of semi-products and finished products, as well as the production environment. Samples of air in the rooms of different cleanliness classes, purified water, and water for injection samples. Personal hygiene is controlled by taking samples from clean room garments, gloves, hands, etc. The Microbiology Laboratory performs control over sterility, microbiological purity, and bacterial endotoxin content. The laboratory is licensed for working with risk group 3 and 4 microorganisms. The plant includes a full complex of warehouse zones. The raw materials warehouse measures 379 square meters and can accommodate 390 pallet places. The quarantine warehouse measures 255 square meters and can accommodate 133 pallet places. The finished product warehouse measures 215 square meters and can accommodate 212 pallet places. Each warehouse zone has refrigerated rooms with temperatures from plus 2 to plus 8 degrees Celsius for storage of thermalable materials and finished products. Raw materials from approved suppliers enter the receiving area where they are logged and the protocol is issued. All raw materials receive quarantine status and an internal batch number. Then, identification marking is done and quality control personnel is informed about the acceptance of new raw materials and their input control is performed. Materials are released into production only after being checked by quality control indicated by the presence of an analytical tag and green label, meaning approved for usage. Finished products arriving from the packaging site are kept in a quarantine warehouse until quality control issues the batch quality passport and gives them the status approved for usage. After that, the products are transferred to the finished products warehouse. Finished products are released to the market after approval by an authorized person. Upon request, finished products are delivered to the distribution center and logistics complex Schodnia. 
From there, products are delivered to the consumer via hospitals and pharmacies. Currently, the Yaroslavl plant comprises the following buildings. Production, laboratories and administration, chemical agents warehouse, automated stationary boiler house, rainfall treatment facility, and checkpoint. All the plant's engineering systems are built in accordance with the modern requirements of both Russian and European GMP standards. The plant has a water treatment station and stations for air and clean nitrogen preparation. The plant's water treatment station is manufactured by the well-known Italian company Stilmas. The system allows the production of purified water, water for injections, and clean steam. Purified water is produced by double reverse osmosis with pre-filtering. Water for injections is prepared using the standard five-step distillation method. The air preparation system comprises ventilation units manufactured by Jaya. Air is prepared using three-step filtration. The final step is H14 HEPA filters. D, C and B class air can be produced. Air exchange frequency and pressure differentials comply with European GMP standards. Construction of an additional engineering and warehouse complex is almost finished. The construction of an additional production building is under consideration for the near future. Such a step would increase our farm's production capacity for manufacturing drugs, both newly developed by our farm, and the products of other foreign and Russian drug developers.